In this video, we're going to talk about combining like terms. So let's say that you had two terms. Let's say that you had 9x squared and negative 7x. So first of all, when you look at two terms, there is some terminology that we want to uh, be familiar with. The 9, that is the numerical part of the term, that's called the coefficient. So you'll hear that word a lot. So the coefficient is the numerical part of a term. And likewise, the coefficient of this term would be the negative 7. So these are both examples of coefficients. Now these two terms, the 9x squared and the negative 7x, they are not like terms. So two terms are like or similar if you have not only the same variable, but the same variable raised to the same exponent. Do you see why these terms are not like terms? Even though they both have the base as an x, this has x raised to the second power, and this has x raised to the first power, and therefore they are not like terms. Let me give you an example of two terms that are like terms. Let's say that you had 5x and negative 13x. So in this case, well, the coefficients here are a 5 and a negative 13, but they're like terms because not only do they both have the base of x, but they also have the, ver the exponent of positive 1. So this is x raised to the first power, as is this. So these, are, these two terms are what we call like or similar, sometimes you'll hear like terms. So similar terms or like terms. Okay, so why are like terms special? Well, if you have like terms, you can add them together in the following way. So let's say that you wanted to add and you had, um, let's go with 3x squared minus 8x minus 4x squared um, plus 11x. So we're going to add these together. So the first thing I notice is that two of the terms, the 3x squared and the negative 4x squared, those terms are like because they both have x raised to the second power. And likewise, the negative 8x is like the 11x. So the way you combine like terms is by adding their coefficients. So let's go ahead and work with the x squareds first. The coefficient here is a 3, and the coefficient here is a negative 4. So you remember you, you have the, ne the minus, in this case the negative, goes with the 4. So the coefficient here would be a negative 8, and the coefficient here would be a negative 4. So combining the 3 and the negative 4, because those are like terms, 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. So negative 1x squared. And likewise, we go on to the terms containing just x. So a negative 8x and a positive 11x. So you combine those terms, you combine those like terms by adding their coefficients. So negative 8 plus 11 is positive 3. Now, of course, we know that negative 1x squared is the same thing as negative x squared. Okay, now at this stage you want to ask yourself, can you combine these terms? And the answer would be no. Do you see why? This has x raised to the second power, and this has x raised to the first power. And the only way you can add terms is if they're like terms, but these terms are not like terms. And so this would be as far as we can go in this process. Okay, so the way you combine like terms, so we combine like terms by adding their coefficients. So you combine like terms by adding the coefficients. Okay, let's try another example. So why don't we 
add how about um, 3x plus 2y minus 7x um, minus how about 11y okay so the first thing we do is we ask ourselves are there any like terms and there are right 3x and negative 7x those are like terms so we add those together by adding their coefficients so we add the 3 to the negative 7 and 3 plus negative 7 is negative 4 and we still keep the x we still keep the part of the terms that's common to both of them and let's go on to the y's so this term is like that term because they both have y raised to the first power so I add the coefficients a positive 2 and a negative 11 is a negative 9 y and now clearly negative 4x is not like negative 9 y now not not even are the the bases the same so in this case they're clearly not like terms so in the next video we'll talk about why you combine like terms the way you do and we'll also do some more complicated examples involving fractions